thank you for taking your time to watch another fun episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Before you forget, mash that subscribe button, will you? Thanks. Today I'm going to make a yummy vegan chocolate cheesecake named the King Missile Cheesecake and it's named after one of my favorite songs. It's very easy to make and only requires a few ingredients. Go to thefatveganchef.com to get the recipe and follow along. Are you ready to begin? Alright! The tools that you will need to make this dish are something heavy like a cast iron skillet, a double boiler, a blender, some cheesecloth, some containers to squeeze our tofu with, a pan to hold the water or you can use your sink, a 9 inch spring form pan, a ziplock bag, a mallet, measuring cups and measuring spoons, and a rubber spatula. The ingredients that you will need to make this decadent dessert are for the filling, one 12 ounce bag of semi-sweet vegan chocolate chips, two packages of Mori New Silken Style Tofu Extra Firm, one quarter cup of agave syrup, you can use either light or dark, one tablespoon of vanilla, one eighth teaspoon of sea salt. For the graham cracker crust, you'll need one and a half cups of crushed graham crackers, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, one tablespoon of vegan sugar, one half cup of melted earth balance, one eighth teaspoon of sea salt, and you'll need some more earth balance to grease your spring form pan with. We have all the ingredients put together, so let's go ahead and start baking. First thing we want to do is start by preheating our oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Now what we want to do is prepare the tofu. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the tofu out of the box. Like so. And we're going to slip it in our cheesecloth here. It'll come out. There we go. like that. And what we're going to do is wrap it up in the cheesecloth. Put some containers on top. We're going to flip it over. And you can do this in the sink if you want. And once it's flipped over, put something heavy on top. We're going to let this sit for several minutes to drain some of the excess water out of the tofu. Alright, what we're going to do now is melt our chocolate chips. Oops. What we're going to do is just put these in the double boiler. And we're going to uh, heat this up and melt them. And then once they're melted, we'll go ahead and assemble our cheesecake mix. So I'll see you when these are melted. Now that we have our chips melted, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and assemble our filling. And what we'll do is we'll take our pressed tofu and put that in a blender without making a mess. And we'll blend this down just a little bit. Then we'll add our salt, our vanilla extract, and our agave syrup.
Okay, now that we have that pureed, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add our chocolate. Okay, we have that well blended. And I did have to scrape it down a few times. But now we're ready to move on to our next step, which is to make our graham cracker crust. All right, to make our graham cracker crust, what we'll do is we'll get a small mixing bowl. We'll combine one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, one tablespoon of sugar, one eighth teaspoon of salt, and we're going to mix this well. And we just want to use our hand with this. Once we have everything mixed, what we'll do is we'll add our half cup of melted butter or vegan margarine. And we're going to gently toss this with our fingers. Until everything's all incorporated. That looks good. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. Now that we have everything put together, let's go ahead and put this in the pan. What we'll want to do is grease our pan. And it's very easy. All you need to do is just open up a piece of your margarine. And take it and just Gently rub some in the pan. Take your fingers and smear it up. Making sure you get all over the place here. And depending upon how melted your butter is by now. It will depend upon how easily it gets on the pan. You may have to be using the butter the entire time, but mine is soft, so it all came out in the pan. So now we've got our butter pan. So we just add our graham cracker crust in there. Even that out. And press down. And that way it forms a nice, good, solid bottom. Now we just need to put our cheesecake mixture in. as much of it as you can out of your blender. You can spread it in your pan here. And once it's evenly spread, you want to lightly tap it. Try to get rid of some of the air bubbles. And then once we've got this done, we're going to go ahead and bake it. We're going to bake it in the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. After it's baked, we're going to let it rest at room temperature for about 30 minutes then put it in the refrigerator and let it cool for a few hours or preferably overnight.
All right, we've let our King Missile Chocolate Cheesecake cook overnight. So let's go ahead and release this from the spring form pan and see what we have. And it turned out beautiful, it looks like. I'm just going to trim the edges a little bit. Get some of that ugliness off of it. That looks good. Let's go ahead and cut this. A little bit off too. What we want to do is take a glass with hot water in it and dip a knife in. And in each cut, you want to wipe the knife off, get it dry, and then just cut down. And then repeat the process. Okay, now that we've got that cut, let's go ahead and serve this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to optionally garnish this a little bit. I made some homemade strawberry sauce. And you can find the recipe to the strawberry sauce on the fatveganchef.com. It's very easy to make. Put a little bit of garnish right there. And I'm also going to put a strawberry on. Fan it out just like that. Let's go ahead and serve a piece of this cake. Doesn't that cheesecake look beautiful? Just put that on just like that. And then what I'll do is I'll finish it off with a, some chocolate shavings. Just like that. And that is my King Missile Chocolate Cheesecake. And I would like to thank you for watching another episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. This recipe and more can be found at thefatveganchef.com. Remember to like this video and share it with all your friends. To be informed of new videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Fat Vegan Chef. Now, excuse me, I'm going to have some cheesecake to eat.